You may have heard of the Metropolitan Police. You probably didn't realise that they have a football team. But on a quiet road in Surrey lies the Met Police FC's home ground. But there's something significant missing on a match day at Imbercourt. What is that? Fans. The club is managed by Jim Cooper, a serving detective sergeant based in Essex, and plays in the Ryman Isthmian Premier Division, six promotions away from the Premier League. There is an interesting history behind the club, and despite only opening its doors to civilian players in 2004, Cooper's men are pushing for promotion to the Vanarama Conference South, having lost just twice at home all season. You make it sound as if we've got a crowd. Yeah. <laughs> the harsh reality is that a lack of fans is something that players have to cope with on a regular basis. For example, a recent league game against Kentside VCD Athletic attracted just 72 supporters, the majority of whom were supporting the away side. Um, you know, we have um, quite a few fans who come home and away, so um, we do have some loyal people that come and watch us all the time. Um, you know, we do have to build up our uh, fan base, and, and hopefully the committee and myself will sit down in the uh, in the close season to, to to try and find a way of um, increasing numbers over here. Senior players Jay Lovett and Stuart Sell have both played professional football previously in their careers, but understand positives of lower crowds, including a reduced amount of criticism aimed at them. Yeah, it'd be, it'd be great to play with a bit more atmosphere with, with a crowd, but that makes it part of the fun. You know, we know what we are, we know what we're about, and we make our own atmosphere and we create our own you know environment. With my experience, it's it's not so much of a problem. It, it does frustrate you sometimes because you like to play in front of you know a few hundred people. Um, you know, and it's nice when opposing sides bring bring. Uh, fans with them, um, you know. Of course, you want to be, you want to be like a Maidstone or a Margate, where you're getting seven or a Dulwich, even where you're getting seven, eight, nine hundred, fifteen hundred, two thousands week in, week out. It, you know, it makes you feel great when you're playing in front of those people. But along with that comes an element of pressure. Um, so we can flip it on the head here. We don't necessarily have the pressure, in, uh, other than the pressure we put on ourselves or the manager puts on us um, to succeed. Um, but you don't have that fan pressure, um, which is sometimes very hard to take. The facilities at Imbercourt are amongst the best in non-league and have undoubtedly aided the club's success in recent years, finishing runners-up in both the London and Surrey Senior Cups last season. This was in addition to a first appearance in the FA Cup first round proper for 20 years against Crawley Town in 2012. The club has a unique nature, unlike any other, whereby it is funded entirely through a voluntary lottery scheme, restricted to current or former members of the force. So in the unique situation that the players are faced with, do they come under any scrutiny by being associated with the police? Yeah, I think it's a miscon misconception that a lot of the people think that because you pay for the Met Police, you are a policeman. Um, so a lot of people's things you hear on the sidelines, abuse, shout, not as mad as what the management probably get it on the sidelines, I can imagine, but... You know, yeah, you go, you get a stick everywhere you go, and that's part of even non-league football that you, your things you have to you have to deal with. They're not police officers, so it doesn't mean anything to them anyway. Um, so you know, it, it's water off ducks back to myself. I've been doing this for twenty odd years, so you know, I'm used to a lot more when I was out working on the street. So you know, it, it's it's generally fun and a uh, good banter. Retired officer Graham Wettone has worked for the police for over 30 years and is currently press and media secretary at the club. It's very unique. It was, um, it was a work site set up for police officers. When I joined the club it was totally police officers, committee and players. The entire playing staff were all police, serving police officers throughout London. Um, and over the years, we've, we've just by necessity, we've had to change. The police, uh, you can't get time off from the police officers they have to do full-time sport on or, or um, Tuesday and Saturday uh, regularly at this level. Well, we're fortunate in that we're a club that has this lottery. It was started um, over 50 years ago by officers who were then concerned about um, being able to put a decent side out at a decent level. And obviously it needed finance because at uh, one point we were in the Southern League and having coaches and have to spend overnight when we went to teams like Bath and Taunton and places like that. And so finance was critical and um, the lottery was one way of supporting the subscriptions of um, the members otherwise. Our gates traditionally have always been very low and so we could not rely on um, gates uh, to, to supply the finance. And um, at that time we had no sponsorship, although it uh, we, we are, it's now a familiar thing as it is with all other clubs. Um, so the, uh, the the growth of the lottery, and it took several years to get it to the level it is now, but it supplies us with what we can uh, come to call a f fairly reliable fixed income. 
So realistically, what does the future hold for this one-of-a-kind club? I think the interesting thing is, because of the nature of the club and, you know, it's, it's basically a works team almost, if you like, uh, it's unusual because there's almost no pressure to succeed. You know, it's, it's been here for many years, the, the whole institution has been here for many years, and so I think, you know, it's not, you must get promotion or something like that. You know, it's, it, it's a slightly different atmosphere. So you're right, if anything, it's probably exceeding expectations. If you actually see how the side plays, you know, they try to play real football with the ball along the ground. Um, I think, you know, it, it's great to see. If they were to go up in the Vanarama Conference, it would certainly raise a lot of eyebrows to actually have a police team uh, playing at that sort of level. Nationally, I think we've got the best home record in the whole of the country, including professional football clubs. So that is um, some record. Um, the reason for that is that um, the pitch generally, uh, apart from the rain we've had recently, uh, is excellent. And like as I said before, we like to play football. Uh, we move the ball quickly, uh, and that's um, in uh, in no way. Um, um, detrimental to any other side that come here, but we are a good football inside and the pitch suits us, thus the results at home have been exceptional. Yeah. To be totally honest with you, I play Conference South, um, I don't think that this level to that level is much different. Obviously, you get one or two better players on each side, but I think in terms of the quality that we got here, we got, we're got we totally adequate to get to stay up, um, to even do better than staying up, to have a decent finish. It's just a matter of getting out of this league, because this league is a tough league. So the future is bright for Cooper & Co. But what does this unique club mean to its staff and fans? It's, uh, it's a, a fantastically well-run club from the top um, and they look after you really, really well. And you, it's something that you know you're, you're coming into train and, and you know there's not going to be any issues from, from the chairman coming down um, with regards to the way they treat you, um, you know, finances being late and things like that. You know, it, it, all of those little things can affect individuals and other clubs. At this certainly at this time of year, where they're they're looking, you know, you're not pushing for promotion, or you're um, or you're potentially looking to go down. You know, they cut budgets and that affects the side. But that's one of the things we have here is they look after you very, very well. Um, you know, it's a fantastic club to play for, and you know, it potentially could be my cl last club that I play for, and I couldn't have wished to play for a better club. This, this is a good memory of this club at the moment, we're doing really well, we've got everything to fight for, um, hopefully a promotion, so we'll just see how we go. What it really means is, it's my, it's my local club. So they might not be supported widely in the local community, but the Met Police FC are undeniably a footballing force to be reckoned with in non-league. They might not have any officers currently playing for the squad, but under the stewardship of Jim Cooper, the Metropolitan Police's values are upheld, and it seems the sky really is the limit.